Hello, hello, everybody. I know, right? I know. This cannot be happening. But I promise you this a long, long time ago. Welcome to the very first episode of the Mass Effect Trilogy. I am doing this. No! I am doing this. I am going to make this a long and painful and awesome series of all time. This is the, the, the Skill Tree of Chicago, by the way. With the wonderful voice on the microphone behind the mic. It's Brooke Hansgram. And join me on the first episode, which you always sometimes join me on the first episode, so for the Max Payne episode, regardless, is Mr. Sanji Kick. Hello, everyone. And let's go connect to databases. Establishing secure connection. And just so you know, no, this is not a blind let's play. We both played the game. Yes, it is. It's now blind let's play. John? Nay, not John. You silly. Oh, wait, wait, are you selecting that character? No, we're not selecting the oh. character. Go back. No. <laughs> okay, sorry. Welcome New career. Military database. Think You're you either picking John Shepard, creating a new identity, or picking an existing one. Yeah, we're not doing Establishing existing one. Secure connection. Reason why? Because A, I want to start someone's new. Alright. Uh -huh. Create a new ID. Custom female. Yeah, let's do custom female. Alright. Alright, uh, not Jane. What would be a good name to call this Shepherd? Uh, are you looking at me? Yes, I'm looking at you. If it's a female character, I choose either the name Lily or Motoko. That's just my personal preference. Huh. Let's see. Um, What's her face from Persona name? You gotta be more specific, man. There's so <laughs> many. There's Red so hair. many. What's her name from Persona? Redhead. Uh. Redhead. Um. I. I. Wait. Are you. Are you talking about Mitsuru? Yeah. She's strong headed. She's All a right. leader. All right. Let's talk. Let, let me find. Let me go. M I T S U R U, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me check. M I T S I U. What? Uh, what'd you say? I said, uh, I think I said M I T S U R U. S. I'm probably wrong though. S U R U. Just put. Personal. Oh, you did! Holy crap! You are right. Yes. You are right. Holy crap. Yeah, M I T S U R U. You are correct, Mr. Kick. Yeah, I got something right. <laughs> <laughs> that is your real name. I did say in the Castlevania. So, uh, let's play. Sorry about that. Exposing your real name, by the way. Nah, no worries. He was bound to get out there at some point. Yeah. Please log in to access your profile. Oh, uh, yeah! Okay. Now, ooh, how, how are you going to design her face or her looks? Not sure. I'll probably, she could probably be like Asian American. I'll go make her hair red, red though. Woo, redhead. Data corruption detected. Why does it have to be corruption? There's always corruption. Boo. Please reconstruct profile. Thank you, phone. Okay. Confirm pre-service history. Okay, so what's, what's going to be her history? Uh, let me see. We got a spacer, both parents of four lives, blah, blah, blah. So either she's always lived in space, she lived in a colony, but then she enlisted, or she was she was raised in a rough way on Earth. Yeah. Um, they, they both lead to some different things, but I, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference, not really. You just have a few separate missions. Okay, what do you think, uh... She will probably be as... I don't know. Usually, at least for my characters, I tried Earthborn, but honestly, I felt more comfortable Spaceborn. Yeah. Or Spacer. Whatever. Oh. Well, kindness or pretty much these two. It's... I don't know. I just I just know what the mission is if you're a Spacer and if you're Earthborn. I know what those are. I, never, I was never a colonist. Uh... 
Uh, what do you think? Well, it's it's she's using the name Mitsuru. What do you think Mitsuru would be? I think I see Mitsuru would be in space instead of rock yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh huh. But her pa- but uh, I'm not gonna get into spoilers of Persona Three. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I, I know what happened to Persona Three. But yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Confirm psychological profile. You know what? She pretty much is a war hero. All right. Uh huh. Not solo survivor, no. Cause Persona in the Leon, you still got that ruthless. Oh, she could be ruthless too. She could be ruthless, but she doesn't ignore the people around her, though. Yeah. Confirm military specialization. That I'm leaving up to you. Yeah. I am pretty much at. But I always roll with, always roll with Vanguard. Same here. Because hey, like this is cool and everything else, but Vanguard's the way to go. I, I tried some of the other classes. I could not get into it. But, but yeah, can't get into the Sentinel. Can't get for the infiltrate. Nah, no, I can't get into that. But like, like the single ones are cool. But you know, bad guys the way to go. In our opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Bones post first aid really. Confirm military oh, what about this one? Oh, Confirm okay. What about this? Oh, oh no, he gets shotguns, warp, throw, lift, barrier. Um, oh, that's awesome. Vanguard gets first aid. <laughs> yeah, Vanguard just get first aid. That's that's just awesome. What about soldier? You get nothing. Okay, well Vanguard will get. We take first aid. facial identification. Let's change your hair. Free cycle. Oh God, no. 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 Oh my god, these graphics are so dated. No. Well, yeah, this came out when? Oh. Like when the Xbox first came out? Just about. Okay. Uh. Uh, this can't go. That could work. That could if go. If you just change the hair color, why not? Change the hair color. Where's your hair at, woman? Hair, we gonna, yeah. Make it that Better. red. Huh? That red? Like a spicy. There's no other red color for her hair. It's more black. Yeah, that will be her hair color. Uh, Let's see, Mitsuru. I doubt they have one in Mitsuru's style. Well, you never know. Let's True. Really look. No, they don't. <laughs> they really don't. Uh huh. So we gotta go with somewhere in that long. You know why? Because. Yeah. Bossy. Nah. I guess this. I guess. Because that's the only it, it, one. It's a shorter version of her hair. But, yeah. But it's the closest we're going to get, I think. Oh, we can have it in a bun. If you say so. Yeah, okay, yeah. We will have it in a bun because she's, like, mixed. Okay. Okay, brow. Uh, she don't, no, we're not going to give up. Why she have a cut? You mean a scar? Uh, a scar, yeah. Well, have a scar. You can change that. Yeah, like, we don't want her to have a scar. Nah. Oh, my god, we are bad uh, construction woman right now. I'll go with that eyebrow. Uh, yeah, natural. Uh, makeup. Let's give her a little blush right here. A little, yeah, like, like that. That's good. Um,. Lip color, that'd be fine. Eyeshadow. Uh, my god, you girls have a hard time with this stuff, huh? That? If I may make a... No, no, that's yeah. fine. It's not, it's, it's not over the top, so it's fine. Yeah, we're not making over the top, no. No, not nose. We, I, I don't try to mess around with the nose, eye shape. That Go to facial structure. That might be where the scars are at. Uh, facial. Where you at? Facial structure, there you go. Yeah, there you go, scar. You have no scars. You got a clean cut complexion. Uh no. That? Uh, uh, that's up to you, it's your pop. Uh, I'm trying to look like okay. Either this or this. Go back. Um because this one, that her face looks fuller when it's all the way right here. Yeah. Okay. 
skin tones right there, but face was struck. Yeah, let's go with face was struck there. Mm -hmm. I need to change the eye color. I'm leaning towards this. Yeah, I'm leaning towards this. Was it this? Yeah, it was this. Alright. Eye color. What color is missing your eyes, by the way? Let me look on my phone. Ooh, that I can't tell you. That I don't know. I know. Well, that's why we got technology. Thank you, phone. Yeah, the first episode is a proper introduction. It's it, She have red eyes. Yeah, she have red eyes. Oh, okay. So, uh, we go give her... That'd be good. What do you think, Kick? I am here to steal your soul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, them gingers. I tell you, man. I wasn't even thinking of ginger. I was thinking of eye color like a robot. Okay. Oh, we still recording. Just want to make sure then. Yeah. Who borrowed this? Her nose. Yeah, her nose. You gotta do something about that nose. Now good. Right. Oh, the height of the nose. Well, turn her to face forward just so we... Okay. Yeah, that... No. No. Ugh. Uh, 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 no, God, no. Oh, well, well like, what I'm doing, not sure. I'm trying to do higher the nose. No, not that. Make the nose low. Depth of the nose. Pinocchio? You know, we're not making Pinocchio. Because that's what it looks like you're making. I know. <laughs> I've seen too many. No, no. <laughs> I've seen too many Pinocchio movies with this one. We keep it low. <laughs> yes, I made that reference. Fair enough. Okay, she look cool. Yeah, I see she, she looks. Look, she looks alright. Uh -huh. She look half and half. Finalized. Profile reconstruction complete. Yes. I know. Identification confirmed. Okay, we go do a normal let's play. Uh, squad level. Uh, they level up their own. Okay. Because they, you know. Be very Mike. I'll go micromanage the situation, so they can control it. Subtypes will be on. Uh, assistant will be normal, uh, active. They could they you no know, use their powers. Be good. Auto save, of course. And let's do this. Can't wait. What about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. That bun. I'll make the call. Yeah, that bun. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh man, this is so awesome. I know a lot of people have been not wanting this, or they didn't <laughs> want this. But guess what? It's here. It's finally here. Broken Hexagram is doing it. Yes. I, I thought it was too crazy. You thought it was too insane. You said, Mr. Hex. You are crazy for making a long series like this. And I said, you are right. I am crazy. But also, I make some killer tacos. Our Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Oh, um, it was good to be back. Maybe. I said you make a main meatloaf. I didn't say anything about tacos. I see you say killer tacos. We are connected. Oh, I'm touching. Calculating transit mass and destination. That's your thing, sir. No. Relay is hot. Oh, it feels so good. All so good, so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
Rainman guy I will see dying later on the series. Oh yeah. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Of course you do. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Eh, I don't know what you always expect with. the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. I was trying to select the other one. <laughs> really? Yep, man. <laughs> you made him mad. <laughs> Okay, as relationship choices, um, I'm not too sure yet, but I will let you guys know. Don't wait, kick. Oh, okay. You just do that. <laughs> still recording, right? The numbers? Yeah, the numbers are still going. Okay, cool. I told you, I just saw I was about to say, if we reached this point and it wasn't recording, I was about to get a little upset. I know. Hey, Congratulations, Presley. Commander. Hey, Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all oh, due respect, hair. ma'am, maybe he'll change, finally tell you what worry. we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's I Nihilus. Miss the magic Spectres city. are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Oh, Jim Hill, you do an awesome job. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. Dr. Kachakos? What do you think, Chakos? Commander? Yeah. You won't be staying on Eden Prime too Jenkins! long. I'm itching for some real action. I'm Jenkins. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> you need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for oh, you to say. You, you proved yourself yeah. in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. That's good to hear. For me. Goodbye, Commander. Paragon! Paragon, yes! I need to really start my Paragon. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Oh, Shepard. Give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. 
Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Of course. A research team on Eden Prime. Keith David. Unearthed some <laughs> kind of beat amazing voice, oh, amazing voice actors in this it series, by the way. Oh yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. I thought the Protheans vanished fifty thousand years ago. <laughs> Their legacy <laughs> still remains. Yes, yeah, the that mass will relays be the Citadel. Up. Our ship a drops. A lot. It's all based on Protheans. This, Protean whole technology. To you. this is big. Actually, shit. there's a lot of voice the last actors time here. Last made a discovery like this. No, it yeah. jumped our technology forward two hundred years. But Eden Prime so doesn't have the Star facilities Trek, to handle it. Like we need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Yeah. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery As could affect every species in Council space. Um, these Why videos at least the go for at least this close to a half hour. You humans don't have the best reputation. Some it's species see you as selfish, is a long series. too unpredictable. And also, we got to fill in the dialogues, interest. and a lot of people like Sharing to hear people talking. Proves the talking. talking. Plus, it's like almost like Metal Gear, but much longer. Wait, they know no. More about the Scratch that. Uh, Metal Gear can the beacon be is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Well, I mean, I mean, if you know what you're doing, action. you can beat the game rather quickly. He's yeah. here to evaluate. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing <laughs> this for a long time. May a funny. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I'm a I need space to see your skills no, for myself, spacer. Commander. Eden Prime will be the first yeah, of several missions. Yeah, I was a spacer. I'll take the spacer, right? Yeah, you You'll are. be in charge yeah. of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Get the Earth. Alice will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. Yeah, I'm you not going to the, uh, Captain, we got a problem. The whole, uh, What's wrong, Joker? Transmission like, from Eden Prime, Prime sir. You better see this. That's a little bit way too Bring it up on screen. It's a lot. Just say it. I mean, Unless there's some questions that I need to know, like a band dialogue, like I expect to, then yes. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get uh, evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh. He's dead. I like those faces. That guy's face. Spider! Spider punch! Oh my god, rocket launches. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Hey. You got good times. A good timing of that. I didn't see Status the report. Play back. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. That look. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. 
Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. No worries, everything will go fine. fine. <laughs> everything will go all right. Everything Gage is all systems. right. Space? Someone is doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, are you coming with us? I move faster on my own. We... Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Now, if you're in trouble, I swear we'll approach you on point two. Yes. Also, um, when you get to a side point, uh, if if we get to a point of um, Ship like perimeter any, secure. any craziness of and pause the game for a second, anything like pretty much the level grinding. I'm, I'm not gonna film that part. I'm not gonna record that part because it, the, this game is kind of heavy grinding. The uh, first uh, Mass Effect one, you have to kind of grind. You have to like grind hard. The only time I'm probably going to show like different parts. If like for example, if there's something important to show, then I will pretty much stop what I'm doing and hit record. But I'm not gonna try to record almost each and everything. Of that, I can probably give you a quick update of what I did, like in the video, and tell you like, oh yeah, I was doing this and I scored in this series, because hey, I'm not gonna try to like sh bore you with like countless and countless of me exploring around space. So I have to hit this train to get to this beacon and whatnot, and now those sh side missions are long and tedious. Very long and tedious, and sometimes don't have no objectives at all. So, just letting you guys know that if I do some stuff off screen, no, don't take it to offense. It's just pretty much I think it's the best interest for you guys who not seen that off screen madness and just hear me just completely just silent. But come on, I need to find this. I need to find the time. Unless you guys really you want to see. need to the, examine that rock. I know. Unless y'all guys really want to see the off screen stuff. So. If you guys do, just please make a comment. If you care, if you want to. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end the video right here. It's a little bit lengthy because this is the first episode. Um, thank you for tuning in to the Mass Effect No Day. Hooray! It's finally here. You can rejoice. You can be happy. We did it. Well, I'm going to do it. Kick is going to be here. Well, not here. Not for every single thing. Not for every single thing, but he's here, though. He's standing right here next to me. I'm actually sitting. Yes. But thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe on the videos. Um, any feedback is the best feedback. We really appreciate you uh, watching these videos. It means the, mean the world to us. We you know, spend so much time to try to pick out different games for you guys to completely enjoy. Well, sometimes we pick out games just for our amusement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this whole trilogy. And yes, I'm a big fan of Mass Effect. Same way I'm a big fan of Mass Payne series, even though I didn't do one or two. There's a reason why behind that. I explained that in the video. Do you listen? Do you watch that series? I told you, my recording software cannot record PlayStation 2 games. Sorry, but other than that, uh, to in next week's episode, or whenever this episode decides to come out, who knows, maybe it's a bi-weekly thing, or maybe it's a two-dayer, I don't know, I'm not too sure, I'm not sure how I feel about this series, maybe I could just do one episode, and it's like, that's it, it's over, done, no, I'm just kidding, but thank you so much, until next time, folks, see you in the next episode, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, if it's your anniversary, Happy anniversary. You should treat your man for some nice Popeye's chicken. Popeye's chicken's really good. And we're not sponsored by no Popeye's chicken, but I always say some good Popeye's is really good for you. It, it is really good for you. Especially the biscuits also. But never mind that. Thank you. Kick says goodnight because he pretty much don't have nothing else to say. 
And like always, later folks. Pew pew. Good night everyone. Mille